Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my perfume collection video. I know this video has been requested by a few of you guys and I guess when it was requested I'm like oh yeah I'll get that out in like a couple weeks. <sighs> my collection I would say I have, I counted it but since counting it I had, I had about 35 full bottles and then 20 travel mini bottles. But then I found like a couple throughout my room. So I have about 55 cents. These are all designer scents. I haven't really dipped my toes in niche just because I feel like designer is easy for me to obtain. It is something that I can go to a store and sniff. It's also perfumes that I can get at a discounted price because I am cheap. So I do enjoy finding items discounted. That's part of the joy of shopping for me is finding the best deal. I do want to dip my toes into niche, but I just started watching a lot of fragrance videos and I see some beautiful niche collections, but I have absolutely no clue where to even begin. So these are all designer perfumes. Also, most of my collection is eau de parfum and there are some that are eau de toilette. So I will try to remember to go over that. Also, I'm not gonna go over all the notes. I'm just gonna list some of the main accords and what I would use this perfume for, just because I wanna try and keep the video flowing. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I do have notes. There's like five pages front and back of notes. So I am gonna go by designer, like Perfume House. First up is Aqualina's Pink Sugar. This is the EDT version, the Eau de Toilette, and this is sweet, milky, citrus, coconut, and vanilla. I tend to like sweet gourmand scents for fall, but this is like a fluffy, marshmallow sweet so i do think this is a nice perfume that you can definitely get away with year round i like this scent for like nighttime bed this is also an easy pick like when i don't know what to wear or when i'm cleaning the house or i'm home i will pop this this perfume on the next is aqualina's gold sugar and i actually prefer gold over the pink sugar <sighs> has this really pretty zest to it which is the citrus that's in here but this is sweet caramel vanilla fruity and powdery again this is an easy scent i prefer this one over pink sugar just because i feel like it's a little bit more mature this is a yummy fall nighttime scent and it's got this zest to it that i just absolutely love so next up are a couple of Avon fragrances. I used to have quite a large Avon perfume selection because I used to sell Avon for about a good five years. And I now I only have two because a lot of the Avon perfumes do smell similar. I would buy them and pretty much hand them off to other people after I tested them out and stuff. I did keep this one. This is a classic. This is Avon's Tomorrow. And they do have like a today, a tomorrow, always. I liked today and tomorrow, but today my sister would wear all the time. It kind of became like one of her signature scents for the time period. So I did uh, pick up tomorrow and I think it kind of describes how different we are. So the notes on the one that my sister has today, that one is more white, floral, tuberose, green, musky, and fresh. Whereas tomorrow, this one is more woody, sweet, fresh, spicy, powdery, and balsamic. So this has this spicy note that I like in a lot of my perfumes. So that's why I did end up really enjoying the tomorrow. And then this has to be one of my favorite Avon scents. And it also is pretty up there with perfumes that I have in general. This is Viva by Fergie. So Avon and Fergie did a perfume together. And this perfume is really well made. I want to say that this ended up coming out on like Allure Beauty or something. Like it was featured in a magazine. And this one is aromatic, spicy, green, woody, floral. So I would say this set is a very unique set in my collection. I don't have anything like this. I wouldn't say this is a unisex, but this definitely is a masculine perfume and I think 
It's just great at night. It reminds me of like the cold. Uh, masculine scents remind me of like when I want to wear like my leather jacket and boots. Like this is the kind of scent I want to wear with it. This is a great also like workout scent. I've mentioned that I like to wear unisex or more masculine perfumes to the gym. I think when they heat up, they're more fresh than wearing any of these like sweet or gourmand scents. So this, it, again, this is a really nice perfume. You can't get this on Avon anymore. I want to see if I can find this like on eBay or something because I'm, I'm almost done. I really like that one. This one is probably my third or fourth bottle. But I'm upset because the formula in this has changed. So this is Britney Spears' Belief. The notes on this are patchouli. It's like right up there. Fruity, sweet, tropical, sweet, citrus, and floral. And I don't get any floral when I smell this. This, though, is a patchouli. Somebody said it's basically like a fruchuli, and it's true. This is a fruchuli scent. I don't know where I saw that. Whoever said it, it's true. But they reformulated it. It doesn't last as long, and it's not as strong. I would say the original is more intense. It is a very strong scent, a, a scent that I would say is great for going out, clubbing the original. And I thought I received a fake one, so I emailed Amazon and they kindly refunded me my money and also told me I could keep the perfume. And then I discovered later that they reformulated it. And the way you can tell is the original has the metal plate on the top with the Britney Spears like signature with the heart. And it just seems like everyone puts the picture of the original. I think I might have found it on eBay. It's a little one ounce bottle. I only got it for like $10. So, all right. Next up is Calvin Klein's Deep Euphoria. This is rose, fresh, spicy, patchouli, woody, musky, and floral. This is a great perfume for cooler months. I didn't put it in my fall because, again, I tried to pick fall in Florida. This is a great scent for cooler months. I love woody spicy scents in the winter and this is a new bottle i went through my little bottle this scent really um surprised me the next scent has got to be my favorite bottle in my whole entire collection if you guys know anything about me you know i like packaging i love packaging and i mean this is absolutely sexy this is carolina herrera's good girl and just like the bottle the perfume is just sexy. This is a great date night perfume. I think you can get away with wearing this perfume year round if you don't overspray, but this is definitely a more nighttime, sexy, sensual scent. I mean, it's like sexy right from my, you know how sometimes you get fruit and it's gotta dry down? This is a very sensual at first spray. It doesn't need to settle down. This is just a very beautiful perfume. And this is white floral, sweet, warm, spicy, it's cacao, and balsamic. I wish the sprayer was a little different because I always feel like I'm gonna cave this part in. So I'm very light-handed when I use this. This is my only Chanel Paris in my collection. I do want to get more. So I do want to film perfume wish list and I want you guys to help me out because there's some perfumes on there that I want and then there's some that I can't decide so I hope to film that and get that out real soon but this is Chanel Paris this is Coco Madame as well and this is the oh the parfum and also the oil that you can like layer with it I used to really love Coco Madame as well when I was in like my early 20s and I had picked up a bottle of it but the scent would like give me migraines and I would even like spray it and take a shower and it would just trigger migraines and which was so sad because I loved it so much. So then as my nose started to mature and I started getting more into deeper scents, I picked up this small bottle because you pretty much got this for free. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me. Did they change the formula on this? Because it still smells like Coco Madam as well. But I mean, I, I used to take a shower the next day and I would still have the smell on me. Like, it used to be so intense. The main, of course, are citrus, patchouli, white floral, sweet, rose, and balsamic. So I know some people say that this is like, uh, I think I've seen it in people's fall collections. I think this is a classy year-round scent. I think this is one of those perfumes that because people know 
what you're wearing. This is a scent that people, I know I can't, I can always tell when someone's wearing Coco Melo as well. This is a classic set and I, you could definitely wear this year round. I would just say maybe don't spray heavy. I'm an over sprayer. This is definitely a year round scent to me just because it's classic. It's something people know. I do want to try Coco Mademoiselle Intense as well as Noir. Let me know your guys' thoughts. We're going to go into Dolce & Gabbana. I'm going to start with these travel sprays and I'm going to go over them really quickly because I haven't worn them. They're, they're newer to my collection. So I don't feel like I can really give you guys my opinions on this. But the first one is Dolce. This is a floral, musky, aquatic, fresh, yellow, floral, green. And now they're mowing outside, so I'm going to try and speak up because I've already tried filming this video a couple times. We're going to keep it moving. Then we have Dolce Garden. And this is vanilla, coconut, sweet, almond, white, floral, nutty. And then last is Dolce. This is Rosa Excelsa. And this one is a flora, rose, musky, aquatic, fresh. And again, I just got these so I could test them out. So I will have to follow these up. Moving right along to some more Dolce & Cabana. Is Dolce & Cabana's the only one? I don't think I need to tell you guys. This has already been featured in two of my recent videos. The main accords on this one are powdery, sweet, caramel, vanilla, floral, coffee. Again, I would wear this year round, but this probably is more for colder months. But this is just a beautiful, like I said, well-rounded set. So the next up is Giorgio Armani. I think it's Aqua de Gioa. It's like tongue twisted. But this is my signature scent. As you can tell, I'm almost done with this bottle. So I already have a backup to that. This is my most complimented perfume in my collection. This is green, citrus, aromatic, fresh, white, floral, and spicy. And this is fresh. And it does have a zest to it and it's just it's just beautiful this is a great year-round set this is my favorite which is funny because it's completely different from a lot of what my collection cons consists of moving right along with Giorgio Armani we have Giorgio Armani C and this is Rose 2 so I believe they don't have this one anymore this is a great I would say colder month scent. And this is floral, rose, fruity, citrus, vanilla. This is a great date night. The sillage on this is beautiful. I love the sea line. I want to get the original. This was a gift that was gifted to me by a co-worker of mine that loves perfumes. And she has the sea intense and I would always compliment her every time she would walk in. This is a very beautiful date night perfume that I think is really pretty for like cooler spring as well, just cause of it does have more of a floral to it, but I do wanna add the original to my collection. And then I do have this little baby, this is C Passion. And this one, it follows along the lines of C, but this one is more powdery in my opinion. The main accords on this are fruity, sweet, rose, spicy, and vanilla. And I, I think this one's pretty. I would still say that the original, the intense, and the rose are some of my favorites. But this, uh, it's still very pretty. It's just more of a powdery version of it, in my opinion. Next up is Gucci Guilty. And this is the EDT, the Eau de Toilette version. So again, I don't have a lot of EDT. So I will try to mention when it is an EDT. But this one... This is a unique scent. I would say this is another easy everyday scent, but it is a unique everyday scent, I should say. Like, it's not anything that I have. I do want to try the Eau de Parfum because I do think that one's probably a little bit more intense because I do have to overspray this one. And this is the limited edition stud bottle. And it's floral, soft, spicy, sweet, fruity, patchouli, and fresh. And I think that's why... I you could get away with wearing this year round, especially the EDT version. You could definitely get away uh, wearing this one year round. I haven't smelled the EDP, the all the perfume, so you would have to let me know. This is a fabulous by Isaac Mizrahi, I think it is. I've seen the original bottle. It comes with that little like puff. I wish I'd gotten that, but this was on clearance at Kohl's for like $17. This reminded me of something, which is why I got it. This reminds me of my second favorite Avon scent and it was called Bond Girl and it was when one of the James Bond movies 
came out. They came out with Bond Girl by Avon, and I loved that scent. That was another highly complimented clubbing scent. And this one just reminded me of that. So I picked it up for like $17. It's just a very easy scent. And this one is citrus, white floral, woody, powdery, and tuberose. I'm really sorry about the lawnmower. It's super annoying. And we got some Jimmy Choo coming up. And these all smell pretty different. This is Jimmy Choo just by Jimmy Choo. And this is the EDT. So I'm not going to get into details, but I, I got this one on accident and I ended up really loving it. This is a fruit, woody, sweet, green rose. This is just a great everyday scent, especially for the office. Then we have Jimmy Choo's Eau de Parfum. And this one is just a much spicier version of the EDT. And this one is sweet, patchouli, fruity, warm, spicy, floral, earthy. And it is a more earthy version of it. I like this for cooler months. Not like super cold because it doesn't get cold in Florida. And then I did pick up, just because I, I love the line, I picked up Jimmy Choo Fever. And this is balsamic, sweet, warm, spicy, vanilla, fruity. This one... I'm still testing it, but it's leaning more like fall because I do find it to be a little bit more of that yummy, cozy vibe. I do like the first two more, but this one's still really pretty, but it, it reminds me a lot of what I already have. So this isn't anything that I would probably continue to keep buying just because I've smelled this. But the other Jimmy Choo's, both of them, the EDT and EDP, they're different enough that I would continue to buy those and add them back into my collection. This is J.Lo Miami Glow. And I got this because Kathleen Lights has said this is a great summer scent. And I would have to agree with her. There are summer scents that I prefer over this one. It's very tropical. It's very coconut. It does make me think of the beach. It's super cute. It's very inexpensive. You could pick this up on Amazon for like 15, 16 bucks. And this is sweet, tropical, coconut, vanilla, and citrus. And this is just an easy, affordable summer scent. It's like a no-brainer scent. And then the next line I'm going to discuss are the Juicy Coutures. And I know I've mentioned that some of these I broke up with. I just mean I'm not going to be re-adding them to my collection but I still have a little bit left. The larger bottle that I had, I actually passed on to my mom. So this is just Juicy Couture, like the original scent. It's just a scent that I've outgrown. It's a really nice scent. I just, I know I won't wear it anymore. So the main accords on this are white floral, tuberose, sweet, animalic green, and fruity. People say that this is fresh. I wouldn't say... I don't know what I get. This this is a very unique set. So I will say that many perfumes have tried to copy Viva La Juicy and have succeeded. I have not smelled this set. I would say the original Juicy is a very unique scent. You almost have to smell it for yourself. Just because I've heard a lot of different people's takes on it and I haven't quite agreed with any of them. I don't know how to put this in words, but this is just a unique scent. It's just something that I've outgrown and I've smelled it long enough that I know once I'm done with this bottle, I probably won't add it back to my collection. The next up is a classic Viva La Juicy. And this one's, this one's just good, but there's perfumes that have come out replicating this one that are better because the staying power on this one sucks and the main accords on this one are white floral sweet caramel fruity vanilla and citrus so this is a really nice everyday perfume i this is a really big compliment getter at the club i go through these bottles because i have to spray so much just for it to stick but this is just a it's classic scent. So I picked this one up because of Jeremy Fragrance. He had said that this is like an intense version of Viva La Juicy and it does smell a lot like Viva La Juicy. So this is fruity, white, floral, woody, caramel, vanilla. This is more of a deeper version he says. It's a little deeper, not like a lot. And the staying power on me with this one still isn't all that great. I would say it's a little bit longer, like maybe six hours. But still, I, I wanted to give it a shot because I really love Viva La Juicy and I just didn't like how quickly it died on my skin. 
So I did pick this bottle up. Well, this next one. This is Viva La Juicy. This is Gold Couture. This is a more warmer, yummier version of Viva La Juicy. And this one's Caramel Vanilla White Floral Sweet and Woody. And this one's my favorite. This one I've gotten compliments on when I've worn it. People have told me that I smell yummy. I do like this bottle more. Like I like this bottle more, but I prefer the gold. And then next I have this Juicy Couture. I don't know how to pronounce this, if it's like we. Um, I just found this one. I'm not going to go over the notes because this is like really new in my collection. So someone had like gave this to me. I think it was my aunt. Then next up we have... Oh, the Gaga by Lady Gaga. And this is supposed to be a unisex cologne. I asked my husband, and he said he wouldn't wear this. It, I don't think it's masculine enough for him, but he did say it was like a masculine woman's perfume. And I love this scent. I love this scent in the cold because of the notes. And let me read the notes off. This is citrus, woody, powdery, leather, and floral. And you really do get that leather and woody accord in it and that's why I like it in the cooler months because again you know leather jacket and boots and like a red lip this is like a sexy masculine scent and when you first spray it it reminds me a little bit of like toothpaste it's got like a mintiness to it but then it dries down to like a leathery woody scent and it's really good i like this one for the gym too so then next up and i'm not going to go into too much details because this has been featured in a few of my videos already and it's lancome la vie belle and this one is sweet vanilla fruity powdery and patchouli and this is a great fall winter especially if you have true fall this is a great cooler month also date night perfume and then next up and a few of you guys have mentioned it and i keep saying that I added it to my collection, but I added it after my date night perfume video came out. And that's Lancome Tresor La Nuit. Oh, God. You guys are right. This is a very mysterious, sexy scent. This is great for date night. And this is great for cooler months. And this is sweet, fruity, warm, spicy, balsamic, and caramel. And the lasting power of this perfume. So I sprayed it. When I went out with my husband, came home, took a shower, went to bed, woke up, and I could still smell this perfume. The staying power on this perfume is crazy. But this is a very beautiful scent. I could tell it's going to be a top perfume for me. And then this one I've been looking for. So this is Lolita Olympica. So this is an old scent. This is like 1997. And this is the main accords are sweet, soft, spicy, powdery, floral, and woody. And someone had described this scent as being whimsical. And I would have to agree. I can't remember where I saw it. But this is a very, like, fairy tale scent. And this apple, like, I would imagine, like, this is what the Maleficent movie, like, I imagine that's what those, like, en enchanted forest type of smells. But I, that's what is in this bottle. This is, like, in a, this is a very enchanted smell. So... I heard about this perfume a long time ago when I was out with my husband at the time, my boyfriend. And I can't remember what we were looking for a perfume because we go together and we just go to the department stores. And this guy said that the best smelling perfume he ever smelled on a woman was Lolita Olympica. He said he actually chased a woman down just to ask her what she was wearing. And, you know, we went to, they didn't sell it at the department store. So we went to like a fragrance shop and I smiled and I'm like, it's okay. I don't know what the big deal is, but that's because at the time my scent preferences were different. But this is just a really beautiful set and I wanted to add it into my collection, but they actually reformulated it and changed the bottle, so I had to get this from an eBayer. So, and it's 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 good. Next up are some Marc Jacobs. So, I'm just going to quickly go through these. This is the Daisy line, and these are very popular scents. I'm not going to go over each one just because my video is already getting super long. But this is Marc Jacobs Daisy Also oh Fresh, Marc Jacobs Original Daisy, and then Daisy Love. And these are just easy spring scents. Next up, we have Marc Jacobs Decadence. This one is Woody, 
powdery amber floral green fruity and because of the spicy notes in here i would like this more in the winter time and i think this is a very also boss lady scent this is just a very unique beautiful set this is one that i would probably keep in my collection another one that surprisingly i like because I know a lot of people don't, is Marc Jacobs Decadence Also Decadent. And this one is, to me, a more cleaner, everyday scent. And this one is Fruity Floral Sweet Woody Green Amber. And I just love this. It has a soapiness to it that I really like. And this is Marc Jacobs Oh So Decadent. Viewer, I think they're subscribed to me had uh, said this is like a play on words. So I know sometimes I say ooh, it's pronounced oh so decadent. So thank you to my viewer for correcting me on that. Okay, the next up we have Narciso Rodriguez and I do have both the eau de toilette and all the parfum. And I do prefer the eau de toilette. And let's go over those really quick. So the EDP is musk, rose, patchouli, balsamic, warm and spicy, and then the EDT is musky, white, floral, citrus, fruity. So these are very musky scents. If you don't like musk, you're not going to like the Narciso line. But when this softens, oh, when I smell this, it just reminds me of my wedding. I, this is my wedding scent. And I mean, it's just, it softens to a beautiful light musk, but like a powdery. I think this is a very beautiful classic scent. It's also a great date night scent. This one... Um, I prefer the all the toilet version over the EDP. We do have this Narciso for her in color. This one actually kind of turned because I don't know what it is about this line. It turns very quickly. I don't have the notes on that one, but I do have like this little travel spray. Also, I'm just going to go over these really quickly. These are the Joe Malone's. This is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt, and this is the Peony and Blush Suede. These are just nice, fresh, beautiful scents that you can also layer together. And then next up is Rihanna's Rebel Fleur. This is actually my second bottle. My first bottle, my sister really enjoyed the scent, so I gave it to her. And then I just picked up another bottle from Amazon because this is a very inexpensive celebrity perfume. This is among one of my top favorite celebrity perfumes. This perfume... Is vanilla, coconut, powdery, and patchouli. This is a great like date night perfume. I think this, especially like summer nights because of the coconut. And the staying power on this perfume is crazy. Like this is another perfume that I can smell on me the next day. I got this one on recommendation by Kathleen Lights as well. So this is Sofia Vergara's Love. And I just recently added this to my collection because this was in a few fragrance people that I watch in their videos. This is another great celebrity perfume. So this is vanilla, fruity, coffee, and powdery. And I think this is another great date night perfume. As well as like colder, like colder months. So I actually looked up how to pronounce this designer's name. And I might not get it right. But it's Thierry Mugler. And when they were trying to teach another fragrance person how to say it, they said that the Thierry has almost like a, like a Y, I think it is in it. And then it's Mugler. So that might be hard for me to keep saying Thierry Mugler. So I'm just going to say Thierry Mugler. <laughs> so first up is Thierry Mugler Alien. And this one is white floral amber woody animalic and balsamic and this is a great date night perfume this is a compliment getter this is also a unique perfume but it's a perfume that a lot of people in orlando wear this is a very popular scent so while you will smell unique <laughs> you kind of won't just because this is a very popular scent and this is also a great clubbing scent. I think if you want to get compliments or you want to wear something that's just going to last all night and work really well in a club scene where you're like dancing and sweating, I think that this just brings out more of that scent. And this is a great, great nighttime, cooler month 
scent. The next up is Angel by Terry Mugler. And let me tell you, I love Angel. This is an older scent and I never had it in my collection. I would smell it on other people, but it just seems so grown up when I would smell it back in the day. And I didn't know it was like Angel. And then after I bought Alien, I just saw this bottle and people kept describing this one and that it was like very patchouli heavy. And I was like, I need to have it. And then when I had it, it reminded me of the 90s right away. I was like, oh, I've smelled this before for sure. So this is sweet patchouli, warm, spicy, fruity, caramel, and cacao. This perfume has a ton of notes in it, but my nose picks up on the patchouli and the sandalwood, the musk in this scent. And this scent is a very polarizing scent and either you love it or you hate it. I feel like it's more polarizing than Alien. I feel like a lot of people like Alien, but Angel, not everyone likes this scent. Some I've heard people say that they despise this scent and I love this scent. This is a great clubbing and going out scent. And then I also have Angel Muse. So I'm gonna be doing a video on these next perfumes also, going through them each in detail. But this is Angel Muse. And this one is, this one is Patchouli Earth, earthy, woody, warm, spicy, and it just is more warm and yummy. So I would definitely say that this is like Angel's little baby sister and Angel's just like the older sister. And I do have them in travel sprays. That's actually how I discovered Angel and said, wait a minute. I know that scent and I went out and got the bigger bottle. Okay, and then last from this line is Aura and I actually just added this one to my collection. I'm still testing it out. But the few times that I've worn it, it reminds me of root beer. But this is a line that's got to grow on you. So I'm, I'm still trying to see how I feel about this one. But this one's sweet, vanilla, woody, white, floral, green, and sour. And I don't know what it is, but I smell root beer whenever I spray this. It just it gives me like total root beer in my face. So I'm still trying to love this one. I do love the bottle, but I'm not sure how I feel about the set yet. So I'm going to update you when I do my video. The next up is Love Struck by Vera Wang. And this one is Musky Fruity Tropical Aquatic Floral. And this is just a pretty sparkly floral, nice for spring scent. It's an easy scent, but it also does not last long. So I really do, ah, oh, so pretty. I do like this scent, I think it's super pretty, but the lasting power on this is not the greatest. Okay, and then next we have some Versace. So this is Versace Bright Crystal Absolute and Versace Bright Crystal. So Bright Crystal is floral, aquatic, fresh, citrus, woody. And I think this is a great everyday scent. And then Crystal Absolute is floral, sweet, fruity, woody, fresh. It's another great everyday scent. It's just a little stronger in my opinion. And a little bit more, like you get a little more fruit out of this one than I would say this one. Then we have Versace Pour Femme. This is the Dylan Blue. And this one's a really nice, fresh, everyday scent. And this one is Fruity Floral Green Rose Fresh. I'm still testing like the staying power on this, but this definitely leans more on spring and summer to me, but I do think this is a scent you can get away with wearing year round. It's a very fresh, easy scent. Next up, we have some Victor and Ralph Flower Bombs. These are super expensive, so I wanted to get the set of three because I've smelled Flower Bomb and I've smelled Flower Bomb Bloom, but I wanted to test out Nectar because this is, this is a perfume that I want to add to my collection, but it's super expensive that I want to test them out and see which one I want before picking it out. So let me know in the comments below which one you like and which one you think I would like. So let me read these off. So the original Flower Bomb is floral, patchouli, white floral, green citrus. I think this is a very classy, sophisticated scent. 
And then Bloom is Woody Floral Citrus Fresh Spicy and Rose. Again, I'm still testing this one out. I do like Bloom though. It's like a prettier version of the original, but I do like, you know, strong patchouli scents. So, and then Flower Bomb Nectar. This one I'm, I'm, is like one that I haven't tried. I've tried Bloom a little bit but they were like the small bottles so I do want to again test these out a little bit more but this one is balsamic vanilla fruity warm spicy and smoky so thinking this one might be like a nice date night or winter perfume so I am going to be testing these out more and hopefully I will have a video on those and then I also picked up the bonbon so when I saw the notes on this one, I knew I, I, I wanted it. And also, like, the bow. I mean, come on. So this one, Caramel Sweet Citrus White Floral Woody. And this is a beautiful date night perfume. I describe this as mysterious, like, nighttime scent. This scent is very beautiful. It's warm and sweet, but also has, like, a spicy woody scent to it which is why it, I find it to be very sensual and very date night and very mysterious. And then I do have YSL's Black Opium and Mon Petit. So I've been wanting to add one of these two to my collection, but I think I might just add both of them. But I think I'll probably add a bigger bottle of Mon Petit just because this reminds me of Miss Dior's original, the Cherie version of it, and I never got my hands on it. And I just... It reminds me of that and so black opium is vanilla coffee sweet warm spicy white floral this is a great fall winter scent and then this one I think is a great date night going out like even if it's with friends like a nice grown-up dinner with friends this is very sophisticated and sexy and this one is fruity sweet white floral patchouli citrus and I just I love this scent, so I do want to add this one to my collection, a bigger bottle. So wrapping up this video, we're almost to the end, guys. This video is going to be a million years long. So this is the longest perfume in my collection. And I don't wear this one anymore. And I'll explain. This is Fleur Blanche's fragrance. This is Eau de Toilette. And this, my friend Rebecca gave me. And I passed this on to my sister because there was a time when she really loved like gardenia and rose scents. And this perfume, so this is White Florals Floral Fresh. This is Animalic Green. I remember telling my sister I wanted, if she didn't, if she got through the bottle, I wanted this bottle back. I'm telling you, I've had this perfume forever and it still smells like the day I got it. This perfume is fresh cut flowers in a bottle. And it's a beautiful scent. But certain, like gardenia, gives me migraines. And florals, like I know a lot of these perfumes have rose and floral notes. But mixed in, I'm okay. But when it's a floral perfume, it actually does give me a headache, unfortunately. It's a beautiful scent, especially if you love the scent of flowers I'm telling you this is like fresh cut flowers in a bottle and it's it's very vintage very like classy vintage scent I would say so I did want to put it at the end because it is it is the longest perfume in my collection so now I put it actually by a picture of me and my friend Rebecca so I put it like right here so I put it right here. So that is my perfume collection. I know that's a lot. So that will do it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload. And until next time, guys, bye.